from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome, everyone, to the celebration of the daily TV Mass. I am Bishop Robert Casson, an auxiliary bishop in the Archdiocese of Toronto. Today, we celebrate St. Teresa of Avila. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by the contribution from two donors. The first is from Joseph de Pap from Winnipeg, Manitoba. This Mass is being offered for the poor suffering souls in purgatory. And uh, the second is from an anonymous donor from North Bay, Ontario, in thanksgiving for blessings received, for special intentions, and for living and deceased family members. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. Pope Benedict XVI shared that a good school provides a rounded education for the whole person. And a good Catholic school, over and above this, should help all its students to become saints. The Catholic Education Foundation of Ontario is an organization that promotes Catholic education in this province. For over 40 years, they have done this by recognizing student achievement, research in Catholic education, and a support of Catholic education leadership. Each year in the fall, at the Father Patrick Fogarty Awards Dinner, the Foundation celebrates excellence in Catholic education through the Catholic Student Awards Program. Please join us at the end of today's Mass as we celebrate the student winners from every Catholic secondary school in the province who are being honored for their outstanding service to school, church, and community. We also congratulate those who are the recipients of the Michael Carty and Michael Monk Awards recognizing their service to the community. <clears throat> and finally, we applaud this year's Medal of Honor recipient, the Honorable Justice Peter Lowers, for his contribution to Catholic education in the province of Ontario. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, let us call to mind our sins with sorrow and ask for mercy. <laughs> you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through your Spirit raised up St. Teresa of Jesus to show the Church the way to seek perfection, grant that we may always be nourished by the food of her heavenly teaching and fired with longing for true holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that, with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know that there is hope to which he has called you. 
what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but in also in the age to come. And God has put all things under his feet and has made him the head of over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they bring you before the synagogues, before the rulers and the authorities, do not worry about how you are to defend yourselves or what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that very hour what you ought to say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
For the celebration of today's Mass, the Church offers us an excerpt from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. I find that letter to be particularly beautiful and spiritually rich and nourishing. And I pass that point of view on to you in case you might be looking for a passage from the Scripture that is beautiful and enriching. Listen to what St. Paul says to us. I pray that God the Father may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that your heart enlightened, with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope in which he has called you. What a beautiful passage, a prayer of St. Paul for each of us, that he is praying that the Spirit will open the eyes of our heart and come to a deeper appreciation of the hope to which each one of us has been called. What is that hope to which we have been called? The basis of our hope is in the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. We believe that on Good Friday, Jesus truly did die in the body. He was dead. But through the power of God the Holy Spirit, on Easter Sunday, he was raised from the dead to a newness of life, a transformed life. This says to us, that Jesus is more powerful than the power of Satan and sin and death. Jesus' power is based on truth and life and eternity in communion with God in heaven. This is the basis for our Christian hope, the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. As we all know, today's world is plagued by many difficulties. Many of them seem to be impossible to unravel. We hear daily of wars and famines and tragedies everywhere. And we may be inclined to lose our hope. But today, may we be renewed in that hope because we believe that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead, and in the end, God and good and life will triumph. Dear friends, let us offer now the prayers of the faithful. First, let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for all the spiritual leaders in the church, for their effective shepherding of all our members we pray to the Lord. Lord For the Catholic Education Foundation of Ontario, that God may bless its good ministry, and especially for all the student achievers in Catholic leadership across the province, we pray to the Lord. Lord For all those in the daily TV Mass community who have asked to be included in our prayer intentions book, we pray that during this time of thanksgiving, we will be grateful for all of our gifts and be willing to share our goods and talents with others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, hear the petitions we lift up to you today through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divine life of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O God, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May our offerings, O Lord, be acceptable to your majesty, to whom the devoted service of St. Teresa was pleasing in such great measure through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, 
the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the glory of the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, 
and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord our God, that your obedient family, whom you have fed with the bread of heaven, may follow the example of St. Teresa and rejoice to sing of your mercies for all eternity through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace and joy. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass.